Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis, and the goal in this video is to show you guys how to get a Platinum score. Now, Platinum is only two, is only 175,000, and if you do even just a few of the things I show you in this with a random match-made group, you'll probably get it. 230,000 I got just by myself with other people. Now, if you do this with an orchestrated team, you can really get up there. Shout out to Esoteric, getting like 400k on his own. I'm going to do this solo. And as long as I don't die, I should probably be able to match it. Because what you're trying to do is coordinate on powerful enemies to get the most medals possible. Now, what I'm talking about here is the medals, I mentioned this in a previous video, is right over here. The most important one, yeah, you getting streaks of like primary, heavy sprees, precision sprees, machine gun sprees. Those are always going to help. Not dying, good thing if possible. Um, better with a fire team if you can. And I leaned into Void on mine, so I got Void everywhere. So, biggest thing is getting this combination. Defeating a champion, always good to do that. But defeat a powerful combatant with a finisher. That is important to do on even orange bars. So, make sure you do that as much as possible on a champion. But this is the icing on the cake. Use an emote before you use a finisher to defeat a powerful combatant. So, you use an emote on a powerful combatant, and then you finish that combatant and if you finish a champion it's like 9,000 points when you do it on a champion so my recommendation is I got 145,000 points by myself with a group so that's why I'm saying you can get a platinum with a group match made easy no problem you do not have to do this solo my goal is to show you how to do this so it's easier the other thing you'll notice is I have the gold contenders moon apparently there's not a platinum one which is annoying but if you get weapon kills uh, if you defeat a combatants with abilities, it increases weapon damage. While defeating combatants with weapons, grants increased ability recharge. So your goal is to bounce back and forth. Weapons, abilities, weapons, abilities. So hopefully you're trying to do that as much as possible. Now, I'm running Void because I'm going to lean into Volatile and Devour because I'm going solo. Uh, if you're not, then go into something that's going to get you a whole bunch of kills. Now, if I went like Solar Sunbreaker, I could probably get a lot of kills that way. But I'm going like Void, Devour, just to have um, Controlled Demolition. Basically, I'm taking advantage of Volatile Flow build here. So Vortex Grenade, Shield Throw. Um, Bubble's not bad, but I might just go Sentinel Shield so I can get some offensive nature from my super. Which, using Bubble's fine, but you can get more benefit from your super that way. Bubble, a little more offensive. This one's going to be, Sentinel Shield Throw is going to be a little slower. This is faster though, so it might come back faster. Um, we'll play it by ear. I'll leave it on bubble, but again, if you got an offensive super, probably the way to go. So I'm using Riptide, because this is gonna handle my um, unstoppable champs. We're gonna do two of those hits on that one. You just wanna go scout rifle, you can. Again, if you're running like a strand subclass, that works too. Remember, unstops are gonna be strand suspends, station shatter, solar, solar ignitions, arc blinds. Unstoppable stuff if you have it. So if I was running like Bastion up here, that would work too. Honestly, just thought I would run this one as a decent kind of backup DPS option depending on what I'm facing. I've got this guy here, the title that probably everybody got. So I figured it'd be reasonable. Got an Envious Assassin, Repulsor Brace. If I'm doing Volatile Flow, that'll get me a few shields. And then my main goal is this guy. Right here, Retrofit Escapade, just kind of mowing everything down possible. 100 Resilience, um, going Void, Melee and Sniper Damage Resistance. Uh, void Loader, help things reload faster. Void Siphon is big here for me because I'm trying to make as much as I can. I don't have Archon, so for me, probably should go probably double Void. Just get more from it. I mean, I could go Stasis technically because that's my Fusion Rifle, but I'm trying not to get too many kills with that. Um, trying to see if there's anything else of benefit here. Gain bonus super energy, super final blows, create extra orbs. Now I'll go bonus super energy on grenade kills. Since I do down here have triple bomber, it's trying to get as much benefit from uh, casting my grenades. And then I am going devour, so I probably don't need both of like recuperation better already. Um, so you could mix it up if you want to go something a little different. I have one absolution already, so I'm doing okay there. So I could probably do innervation, get my grenade back. But again, a lot of this isn't going to matter as soon as you're... Re as soon as you're getting weapon kills, things are going pretty quickly. So let me jump in and show you. But if you do, the main thing is the emote finish on any powerful enemy. That's where you're going to start stacking up points. And if you do that right in here in the match made thing, as I said, I got 230. Platinum, no problem. But I figured I'd show you a solo run so you guys can see that one. Just in case you want to experiment. But here we go. All right. So when you load in, Guardian, 
My forces report that Shadow Legion units are shifting their attention to the Cloud Arc. That's likely why Neo Muna's defense systems are. Trying to kill all the enemies as well, but I try and kill them in trios here. Since they're sitting that way, you may as well do it. There's three quick ones. Now I got the little flow on. Get my sprees working. Void spree. There's heavy rampage. Literally got that done. I'll reload here. And you got a lot of dogs coming at you here. Get like half my grenade energy back. Literally just mow all of these guys down. Heavy frenzy. Floyd rampage. Just everything's kind of dying. And that's your goal. Remember, you're getting abilities back quickly too. So use your abilities frequently. So it's that trade back and forth and trying to get ammo finder is going to be beneficial as well. Now here's what I'm talking about. It's really simple. Emote and then finish, but I don't know where he teleported to, so that's a little annoying. Oh, he went there. Alright, well, we're going to do it this way. Now I can get him. So this is emote, finish, powerful, 9,125 points. Like, it's ridiculous how much it adds up to, but it 100% is worth it. And you can do that on every orange bar. So like up here, same thing. And there's a little bit of a delay that you can get away with. Let's try not to die. I'm going to pop a bubble. Now, you get your abilities back fast. So if you have, like, a Warlock Super, you're probably going to be doing a bunch of damage. If I can get, like, one orb, I will be totally good. Same thing here. Stunned him there. Now, it's the miniguns that really hurt here, actually. So, that. Emote. Finish. Easy kill. Now, again, this is where I'll use... Machine gun just to take out the mini guns because they suck. They hurt a lot. There you go. And hey, a precision spree because currently I got the kills. So again, your gold empowerment. So you need to basically run it at least once and get gold if you're trying to get good points. Then once you start getting these empowerments roaming back and forth, you can really do a lot of good things with these. So trade them back and forth. Gonna have some enemies here. Grenades, trying to get my just literally rotating back and forth. You'll get bonus weapon damage, you'll get bonus ability empowerment. Back and forth and back and forth. It's quite a chain that you can get going. A taken blight? <clears throat> Mini guns here as well. This is the only part where I died before. So there's 30 in a row. Stick and move is 30 in a row. Which means they could infiltrate the network and gain access to the veil. Taken are relentless. Especially under the witness's control. We need to get in there and stop them. Got some minigun ammo. Got some machine gun ammo, so definitely take out your miniguns. That's always an important piece to do. Look for your snipers. And try and trade back and forth. I will use my machine gun probably too much sometimes, so it's really good to trade. And again, everybody has this machine gun. Now the nice thing about Volatile Flow is I'm getting myself a little shield every time. Now we got the big guy coming in. So what I'm gonna try and do is alternate back and forth a little more to uh, get weapon kills when I can and then also get damage on big guy. Make this a little faster of a process if I can. The last time I spent way too long on him. But you, you will hit, like, a checkpoint thing here. So if you die here, it will be trouble. Where's big guy? There he is. So again, run around. You are going to have some champions in here. So be careful about that. But again, trying to get those sprees. If you go on a spree, get it. Take advantage. Run. That's the guy I was trying to wait for. Same thing here, get him to that finishing point. Emote. 
Come on, finish, really? Emote, finish, there you go. Weird moment where it didn't count. But again, 9,000 points per one of those. Like, it's not hard to get the points that you need. I need to try and take advantage of, like, ability. Empowerment here. That again. Now I got weapon empowerment. I'm trying to get more damage on him if I can. There we go. Times three weapon empowerment. And if I can just melt him down here. Again, this is my retrofit escapade. I get that I'm burning through ammo here, but trying to take him out pretty quickly is important. Once he gets angry, it's a bit rough. and hold out my bubble for a hot second. I can go for a couple ability kills. Another unstoppable champion is back, so pay attention that he'll be there this round again. If he grabs you, he might kill you, so just be aware that that's gonna be the hardest part. Yep, that part. That's the fun one. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get platinum because of hey, that champion not dying, but I'm we will sure see if it matters. Either way, if you're going for points, you guys get it. So, that part's done much faster than previous. You won't get any points in this little mini possible. section, but that's the idea. Maybe that's kind of what you're going for, is ability, weapon kill, ability, control. weapon kill, ability, weapon Maybe. kill. That's kind of the way you go. The drive is exactly that, but for now, we still have champions to deal with. Try not to get launched off if I can help it. All right, same thing. Emote, finish. Why the delay? Oh my god. Emote, finish. Should have worked a while ago, but that's just because it's a little buggy and weird. That's one of those points where, like, his health was low enough, and then it, like, glitched backwards on me, so not much you can do about that. Biggest thing that's probably going to be annoying in this whole strike are those guys. So I gotta make sure I'm reloaded here. So I got another champion up there. Damn right, like 98,000. We got a ways to go. Should be able to finish. And there's another 9,000 points. Like, the point, if you're doing that as you run through with a group, you'll be able to do it fast enough easily. And if you're doing that, trying to focus on a few of the champions that way, you'll easily be able to get There's the points. To be to now, this also, now, okay, he died a little quicker than I actually wanted him to. What you can do back here is take these things out, which will kind of speed this process along for you. You'll do this later on, too. I'll actually get them all. Okay, here's a fun part. We have a whole bunch of little guys going on. Grab your heavy sprees. And if I got an orb, just easy sprees going here. Void sprees, heavy sprees. You can probably farm a little bit of adds here. I would wager you could probably do that. Killed him on accident. Whoops. Okay, lots of stuff you can kill here pretty easily. Pick up your another cranium. Not a lot of those that are left from the front entrance, but there's a few. I think that's probably it. I could use some heavy ammo. I know I'm running a little low on that front. Yep. Hurting on the heavy ammo right now, but we got a spare run to go through, so not too bad. And that's why I brought the fusion rifle, just as kind of a backup DPS option, depending on heavy ammo. 
So this part's just going to take a little practice. I mean, if you're comfortable on a sparrow, probably won't be too bad. I don't know if there would be any point really in stopping. Now, if I get tagged by one of these balls, I'm going to jump off my sparrow and grab myself a new one so it's fresh. Now, if I get hit by anything, I'm not like on the brink of dying, kind of ruining this run. Because doing this one time, the optimal way to go. So, the melee guys won't hurt you. You might drive through one. But the goal here, not to let your sparrow get damaged enough to die. Then when you come back this other direction, you might have a bit of a tricky run. Okay, I got a hit there. So I will actually jump off. But then I'll jump back here. Now we got overloads here. I got ability empowerment up there. We can go for the stun. Same thing. These guys should always get finished. Pretty simple. Again, 9,000, 9,100, whatever it is, easy finishes there. Got a few more over here. And again, trying to kill all the guys you can is going to help your points. Picking up orbs too. Orbs gathered are going to add up. This guy's the rough one probably because he's going to try and freeze you. If you do anything like this, watch the grenade so it doesn't kill him. And get your finisher off. Look, and I'm already 140,000. We're not even to the boss room. And there's so much to kill in the boss room, it's not even funny. Now, I definitely am going to want me some ammo. Soon. For my heavy, if possible. Ow, 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 ow. Now, you do not have to worry so much about dying here. There's some snipers, so we got to take those out. Well, I have sniper resist on too. Should have some abilities though. I got a little bump in the butt there. I would love some heavy ammo. Oh, I did get some there. Beautiful. So what you're gonna have is a couple sets of overload champions. You can work on them if you want. Now these guys technically are finishable too. Now they're not as much, but technically orange bars. If you're with an orchestrated group, that's still 40, 40, almost five grand. So if you can finish the minotaurs and stuff as well, they will count. Sometimes it's hard to coordinate it, but it is definitely doable. And again, if you don't... See, there you go. That's why this part, patience. Just don't worry about risking too much. Work on getting some ammo. Looks like I'm great on ammo right now, so I'm pretty solid. Uh, biggest thing I can do right now is try and take out my overloads. And then look for the uh, craniums to take out the outside. So I'm going to take out the overloads first. Actually, they're not all overloads, I should say. This guy's an overload. This guy. The one I want to kill. Stun. Come on, stun. There we go. Another nine grand. All right, he's down. We got a cranium. Then the goal with the craniums, you know, run around the outside, take these out. And just kind of, I go, usually go around and make a circle if I could jump correctly. Doesn't usually take a lot of damage, so don't overshoot them. They usually die pretty easily. And you're going to get some ogres in the middle at a point, so be careful about those. That'd be a great time for somebody with a big super. They also will hurt quite a bit. So... I'll try and melee there. Now, this goal is mostly to get ammo for me. Got a little spree. And again, all these things just start adding up. It's really not too shabby. Uh, looks like I need another cranium. Got like a couple more of these to get. And we're out. I would only use these things on the boss because they don't really count for too many points. And we're going up. So time for your quick reload. 
So that's the whole goal of Guardian Game Strikes. Once you get that gold ability buff, so you gotta run it to get 150 points one time. Then you're when you're going for a high score, abilities, weapons, abilities, weapons, that back and forth rotation, you'll do wonders. So my bubble's not gonna do much, but it's really gonna help me with my weapon damage. So that's where mine kind of comes into play in a different way. Just waiting on the big boss this here. Is the access point. Let's get rid of that taken before it opens a path into the cloud arc. Now nah, you can bring on the enemies. Trying to get ability, energy, and then also weapon and weapon damage. Now those little axiom bolts, those are the ones that are gonna hurt the most. Now that I got a good damage run, I can get chunks on him. Notice my numbers on him for damage. Big damage numbers. I can move his health pretty well. Not as big there. Trying to move him to the next phase because I get a lot more enemies. There we go. Yeah, he still doesn't like me, but got some other stuff going on. Now you're getting weapon kills, abilities are coming back faster. Now, you'll notice I will try and keep that guy alive up there and try and go for the kill, because he's usually not very focused on you. Not the guy I'm trying to finish here. This guy. Uh, didn't actually kill him, so I'll try and get a couple more bullets in. Same thing, go for the finish. And again, each one of those is still going to be 5,000 points. That's why they're so helpful. Now, can't do anything because obviously I got to kill the guys first. Probably going to kill. Yep, going to kill the Minotaur that way. And the Minotaur worth 375, or if you kill him like the other way, he's going to be worth much, much more. That's why taking the little extra second to go for these finishers, that's how you get your major, major points. A little bit to a whole bunch more. Oh, now you gotta go cranium on all these little things. I feel like I'm somehow missing one. He moved. There we go. Alright, now you got a bunch of little guys. You can use whatever you want depending on your ammo. If you're going for heavy, heavy sprees and you're good, I can do this all day. Crazy heavy rampage, ridiculous metals, just going nuts. Other side, if you want to go for like abilities and stuff, you could do that. That's going to help my abilities though, empowerment. Going to come back faster. And that ability, ability empowerment's on for like 20 seconds. I want to use it as much as I can. Except somehow I'm missing one of those guys. I don't even know, I don't have a cranium for that. Just going normal killing. That's, I guess, now that one's gonna go down. Seriously? Got one cranium up there. Well, apparently I missed one. Thought I was gonna be good to go. Kinda wasted my efforts. Your goal would be to make sure all of these are down before you start. Because having all the enemies to kill is really gonna be beneficial. Now this is a good time to use a cranium if you've got it on him. Watch for those though. Little axiom bolts will kind of mess up a run, so be careful. Snipes are gonna hurt. Gotta avoid spree, work on the hobgoblin so you don't get sniped to death. Gotta figure out who's protecting who there. Now we got some good rotation going here. Big damage bonus. And again, I'm getting my abilities back about as fast as I can throw them out there. Get my damage bonus again. 
These things are fast, too. That's yeah, all these that kind of suck. Almost on that phase. Again, you run it. Now I'm at 20 minutes, so I'm at the point where I'm no longer getting points. So yeah, shout out to... Um, as usual, shout out to Esoteric putting up 400,000 points in 23 minutes. That's just bonkers to me, but way to go, dude. That's crazy. So again, same thing we're doing here, trying to get our abilities up. Still get a finisher here. I'll still take a few more points. Cranium, so I can take these things in the back wall out. This thing has like damn near infinite range, so you may as well just do it from far away. And again, the machine gun that I'm using, you could totally use the new machine gun from uh, the World of Exotics. Uh, so the, from the new, the exotic from uh, Lightfall. Sorry, I'm just blanking while I'm doing all this. Go for a finisher here, so I'll have a little time to get some points out of it. I'll still take half. Okay, so looks like we got more ads down here. Now we're going to go a little bonkers. Just for a little bit, trying to get any more points that I possibly can before basically points are done in about a minute and however many seconds I've got. I've got a little more time to get some points out of these, so I'm just going full on heavy mode. And then at this point, you can actually kill him with Arc Craniums pretty well if you've got any left, which you probably will. It's not the most efficient in the world, but it definitely gets some job, job kind of done. And that's also an easy way to fight him from range. Those little guys will hurt though. Try and give me a fresh cranium. And as I'm about 30 seconds left on points, I'm just gonna go for the kill if I can. Try and go for these last few. Almost out of points. But again, you guys can see that I'm at 226,000. And I got my 230k with other people. So it's definitely doable to do... I mean, SO did 400, so shout out to him. But getting pl platinum score should not be a challenge. That's kind of the whole point of this video. If I can do this on my own by myself... Granted, yeah, I have an optimal loadout. But if you just do those finishing things, you're good. I missed one champion, so I'm probably going to get, like, gold rewards. Yeah. Would be better. No, I got... Yeah, see, I got gold rewards. That was why I didn't get as good. I've been getting some really, really good drops from these things. So, definitely worth spending some time in here. And didn't die. So, flawless fire team as well. So, that is a wrap. 226,000 by myself. Could it have been better? Absolutely. Could you do really, really well with a fire team? Sure. Match made fire team? Still got 230k. So, if you have any troubles getting to 175,000, take any of what I showed you here. Going Void Build, Volatile Flow, um, Void Siphons, you're getting Orbs, Bomber, and then once you do it a one time enough to get gold, the Gold Boon, then your buffs that you trade back and forth are kind of awesome. Making a bunch of Orbs, which it doesn't tell me, but 122 medals. That's how you get your score. So, let's get back to Orbit, we'll wrap this up. And that's it! So, I just wanted to show you guys full game playthrough of what to expect in this one, and pretty much getting platinum score give it a couple tries once you get that gold boon and if you focus on the emote finish on anything with an orange bar and especially champions because they're worth like 9k like really if you're with a group really hunt out the champions make sure you're the one that tries to finish them and i still had people nuking them when i got the 230k so as a team not too bad if you really coordinate every single powerful enemy everybody works them together you can get some ridiculous scores so have fun, guys. I'm out of town this weekend, so you'll see this one on Friday. I will not be here for Zer, so go shout out to any of the other creators. And then on Sunday, I'm going to do a video just to give it a little space, 
for the um, my potential god rolls for the uh, Guardian Games weapons. So stay tuned for that one. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like below. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, Bontis. But if you enjoyed this one, please hit that subscribe button. We're like not that far away, maybe 1,300 subscribers away from 100,000. So thank you guys for the support. And if you want to see the next video, hit that alert bell as well. Have a good one, everybody. See you soon.